fantastic and welcome to another video on the channel. Today we had the Champions League match day six predictions, the last game of the group stages, and we have absolute belters lined up. Now, before we get into it, make sure you do subscribe to the channel because on Monday we'll have the Europa League predictions, the last match day for that. And also we had a video like yesterday. We had the Tottenham versus Arsenal previewers in the eye now. And it's not too late to check out the Premier League predictions because there's a few games on Sunday and Monday. So check that out, and yeah, we need to get straight into this because we have a fantastic lineup of games with lots and lots of people relying on other people. Now, as you can see next to me, we have the graphic. Now, normally we have all the British teams, or the English teams in this case, on the graphic, but I've gone for the games that have something to play for, so they're a bit more interesting, and uh, I've got, I have to get the Champions League app up to uh, look at the, s the standings at the minute to see who relies on who. It's definitely interesting, so yeah, if you could stick around and subscribe to the channel because when it comes to the round of 16 and round of 32 for the Europa League, we'll have it all covered and coming up to the Christmas period, every single game is going to be covered, so yeah, subscribe. And we have hit 800 subscribers, I just filmed the Tottenham Arsenal preview and I checked and we have hit 800 subscribers, so yeah, thank you for subscribing. And I suppose now you could test the road to a thousand, um, maybe 900 first, let's get that out of the way. But the road to a thousand, so yeah, subscribe, tell everyone about it because everything's going to be covered. And next year we'll have more content for different sports coming, for example, F1, boxing, UFC, uh, dental sports, it'll be covered. So we're, we're just branching out. So the first game this week is actually the first game on the graphic. It is Lazio taking on Club Bruges. Now, the last spot in the round of 60 is on the line here as both teams can go through. Uh, at the moment, Lazio are on 9 points and Club Bruges on 7 points. If Club Bruges win, they go through. Dortmund have already qualified and Zenit can't get into the Europa League. So this is literally who goes through to what competition. And I'm actually predicting an upset. Now there's always upsets in the last, in the last match day when it comes to these type of games. And I think Club Bruges are going to win this game 2-1. Now, obviously Lazio are huge favourites, and I wouldn't be surprised if they go through, not at all, but my predictions, I think Club Bruges are going to cause an upset. The team from Belgium are going to go through to the round of 16, beating the Italian side 2-1, punching their ticket to the round of 16, and Lazio, a big team, dropping into the Europa League. Moving on to the other game in this group, it is Zenit taking on Dortmund. I think Dortmund will field a bit of a weaker team. They don't have Haaland, he's out injured until the new year, but I still think they will get a point at least and then go with a one or draw. Moving on to Group E, we have Chelsea taking on Krasnodar. Chelsea have already gone through in the round of 16. They've won 4-0 against Sevilla yesterday as I'm filming this, with Giroud scoring all four goals with a perfect hat-trick, proving that he's still got it and should be starting ahead of Tammy Abraham. I thought that all along, really. He's a fantastic player. Obviously wants to impress for the Euros coming up next summer. Uh, against Krasnodar, they did beat them 4-0 last time they played over in Russia. This time I think a much rotated Chelsea team, but I still think they've got enough quality to absolutely whitewash the Russian side and go with a 3-0 win for Chelsea. The other game in this group is Rennes taking on Sevilla. Again, Sevilla have already gone through. They're going to be going through in second place. Uh, and Rennes, I think, are they fighting for the Europa League in this game? Technically they are, yes. Um, but I do think there's going to be a boring 0-0 draw, meaning that Krasnodar drop into the Europa League. Moving on to Barcelona versus Juventus, the only game on this graphic that doesn't have anything to play for, but you have to add this game, it's fantastic. Possibly the last time we will ever see Messi versus Ronaldo. That's if Messi plays. He, I think he's injured, I'm not in, no he just didn't play yesterday in the Champions League against uh, Ferran Granos. This game I think they will field out a strong team, because they're going for maximum points. So it's something to play for here, sort of, for Barcelona. And I think they're going to win 2-1 against Juventus. Uh, of course Ronaldo could put a spanner in the works definitely but again I think Barcelona will get maximum points to prove that they are still giants in this competition winning 2-1 against a big opposition. The other game in this group is Dynamo Kiev versus Ferenc Vanos. The fight for the Europa League is on a competition that both teams would happily fall into obviously given the other two teams in this group and last time out this was one all draw and uh, I think it's going to be another one all draw, meaning that Dynamo Kiev will drop into the Europa League with a minus 10 goal difference. Now moving on to Group H. Now both results I'm going to give at the same time on this scoreboard. 
As it stands, Manchester United are top with 9 points and 6 goal difference. PSG are second with 3 goal difference on 9 points. Leipzig are on minus 2 goal difference with 9 points. So, all to play for, definitely. If Bakhshir can somehow beat PSG and Leipzig can beat Man United, then Leipzig go through. Yeah, I think the outcome in this group is somewhat certain that with Man United and PSG will go through, looking at the goal difference. Uh, of course, unless Leipzig do beat Man United and PSG fail to beat Istanbul. But I do think the both results will go in favour of the English and French side. I'm going with a 2-1 and 3-0 win for Man United and PSG. Uh, Median the main item PSG go through. PSG had to win last night and Neymar turns up. Now in the Leipzig game you could argue that Fred will be a big miss for Manchester United after getting sent off. Should have got sent off in the first half anyway but I think they have enough quality to beat Leipzig. Leipzig did lose 5-0 against Man United Old Trafford so yeah I think they'll be hanging over their head and I think that the two, the two favourable teams in this group when it first came out will go through. Now moving on to Wednesday's fixtures and it's the first one, it is Ajax taking on Atalanta. The fight for the Champions League is on in this game as well. Atalanta are currently ahead in second place on 8 points so Ajax need to beat Atalanta. It's going to be a fantastic game, an absolute goal fest. Last time out it was a Desmond 2-2 and this time I think it's going to be 4-3 to Ajax. I think Ajax are going to go through and Atalanta, another big team from Italy, dropping into the Europa League. The other game in this group is Midland taking on Liverpool and I think that Liverpool, they're going to beat Midland and I think that Liverpool will win 1-0. Moving on to Bayern Munich versus Lokomotiv Moscow, both teams have their fate sealed and actually Lokomotiv can still technically go into the Europa League I think if they beat Bayern Munich and Atletico beat Salzburg but let's face it Bayern are not going to lose to Lokomotiv, I think Bayern are going to win 4-1. The other game in this group is Atletico Madrid taking on Salzburg. Salzburg versus Atletico Madrid. If Salzburg win, they go through and Salzburg definitely can win this game being at home against Atletico Madrid who did draw against Bayern Munich but they did draw against Lokomotiv twice. So Atletico are up and down with their results um, but I think Simeone's side have enough quality and enough um, experience of going through in this competition to get a draw against Salzburg, and I'm going with a 2-2 draw, a last minute VAR goal, ruled out outside for Salzburg, just to add a bit of spice to it. Moving on to Group B, we have another interesting group where any team can actually go through technically to the Champions League knockouts, um, and any team can drop into the Europa League. I mean, that's a fantastic group. Now. As it stands, we have Mujin Gladbach, then Shakhtar, then Real Madrid, then Inter. And these games are uh, Inter versus Shakhtar and Madrid versus Mujin Gladbach. So I think Inter are relying on Mujin Gladbach to beat Real Madrid and Inter to beat Shakhtar so that Inter can go through. Um, that's just a muddle, muddle fest. But because Shakhtar beat Real Madrid twice, Shakhtar are ahead. But if Real Madrid can outpoint Shakhtar, then Real Madrid go through ahead of Shakhtar. But bruh, this group is just amazing. Um, my predictions for this game are a 2-2 and 3-2, but in the opposite order I said it, I think Inter are gonna win 3-2 against Shakhtar, and Real Madrid are gonna draw 2-2 against München Gladbach. Meaning that, if that's a draw, if I, meaning that München Gladbach and Inter Milan will go through, and Shakhtar will be knocked out and Real Madrid will drop into the Europa League. Definitely interesting to see. As uh, I, I'm concentrating on the Europa League this season because Spurs are in it. And for Real Madrid to drop into the Europa League, I would happily give them the smoke that they deserve for dissing Gareth Bale and Regulon. Zidane's bald head needs some treatment from Jose. And yeah, I, that's how I see it. Real Madrid dropping into the Europa League with München Gladbach and Inter Milan going through. And now moving on to Group C we have Manchester City taking on Marseille. I think Marseille need to beat Man City to go through and hope that the other games are draw, something like that. But I think Manchester City are going to win this game 2-1. And the last game is Olympiacos taking on Porto. If Olympiacos win, I think they go into the Europa League. Uh, I'm not too sure. Let's check, let's check the outcome for this. This is Group C. If, yeah, if Olympiacos can outpoint Marseille, then Olympiacos drop into the Europa League. And I think Olympiacos are going to beat Porto here 1-0 to drop into the Europa League. 
a competition they'd be fairly happy with. Obviously, if Marseille do, like, if it's both a point, then Olympiacos go through. Marseille need to beat City, and Porto need to draw or beat Olympiacos for Marseille to go through. So yeah, that is it for the predictions. Make sure you comment down below, definitely. I want to know your outcomes with your predictions down below. Give it a like, and as I said, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.